It's September 15th, 2019, and this is week seven of my Noom weight loss program. As I usually do, I'll start the first part talking about the weight loss and what's happened, and then the second part of this video, I'll talk a bit about the app. I also want to uh, get you up to speed. As I said in my last video, I would be taking a couple weeks off because I would be traveling for business as well as uh, visiting my family back in Arizona. And I did that, I ate a lot, I didn't exercise much, and you'll see how that impacted uh, my weight overall. And also, uh, I started the program one week ago, so you can see what happened over the past week as I got back on the program and then started to lose the weight again. I'll show you the chart in a few moments, but let's go through the stats first. And I'm a bit embarrassed about this, but it's kind of par for the course. I'm looking at this program and any weight loss over a long-term period rather than week by week, month by month, because I don't want to keep myself so strict uh, on what I'm doing that I can't enjoy myself when I see my family go go on travel, what have you. I, I'm not that strict as I think the, the Noom program would like us to be. So here's the stats. My current weight is 258.4 uh, compared to the last time I checked. That means I gained five pounds over the two week period or so. Uh, so that brings my total loss only to six pounds. Um, I was 11 before uh, I went on the break. So I gained five pounds. Um, yeah, disappointed, but again, not unexpected. I am liking the pro progress I'm seeing, the immediate effects that I'm seeing, um, again, losing the weight after getting back on the program. So let me show you the chart on that. So as you can see from the chart, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, my last, well, let's just be official here. My last weigh-in was uh, on the 25th uh, of August, and I had 253.4 pounds. That's before I went traveling and on break to see my family. Uh, over the two weeks, I gained about nine pounds. And then when I came back, I weighed 262.4 and then the next day, almost following the next day, I, I lost over two pounds. And the following day after that, I lost almost another two pounds. Stayed, got went up slightly, stayed steady, then dropped another two pounds. And then from yesterday to today, I gained about a pound and a half. And I'm going to be honest, it was Saturday. There's two things affecting that. It was Saturday. It's pretty much my lazy weekends or my lazy weekends. I don't seem to go anywhere. I don't do much. I do go do my exercising. I kind of just watch TV, clean the house up, etc. And I did have three or four beers uh, last night. So, you know, I'm sure that's stayed in the gut, even though I exercised this morning. So I went up about a pound and a half, roughly, over the last day. My guess is that if this trend continues... I think over the next week I should be back to where I was before I went on the break. So that means it only takes, it takes about, if you go off the program for two weeks, it'll take you about two weeks to get back on. Not, again, too big of a deal. I'm still fine with that. Uh, let's see what happens at the end of next week if I do get back to around 252, 253 and continue from there. Again, I enjoyed you know my time, my break off and, and eating my wife's delicious cooking. So... I think you can't blame me for uh, gaining, gaining nine pounds uh, over two weeks, but uh, I'm back on track, I think, now. And with that said, I think also, as long as the trend continues, now the app is saying that um, I, will get, I will attain my goal weight of 235 by the end of November now, rather than the end of October. Okay, that's, that's fine. But I'm going to slide that probably to the end of December because my family's coming to visit me here in New Jersey uh, beginning of next month, and my son is going to look at some different colleges, et cetera. So when they eventually move here, hopefully he'll stay in state. We don't know what will happen. Let's see. Uh, but they'll be here, and I'm sure for that week uh, I'll be off plan as far as eating is concerned. But the thing is I'll be able to exercise because my gym's right here 
next door uh, to our apartments. It's part of the apartment complex I'm in. So let's see what happens. So I'm thinking at the end of December, before Christmas break, I'm hoping that I'll hit that 235. Fingers crossed. So let's talk a little bit about the app and what happens when you go on a break. If you skip a day or skip two days, or skip two weeks. Well, <laughs> the reading doesn't stop. That's for sure. Every day there's three or four blurbs you have to, to read. Um, being that I was traveling and on a plane and stuff, I guess I could have read them on the plane. I was just kind of, you know, taking it a bit easy. Uh, and I was busy with, with work as well. And I didn't really have time or energy or want to sit down and read the blobs because the blurbs because again I, I I have mixed feelings about these. Sometimes I see some good good information and sometimes I see not such great information. Uh, the other thing is that as it, as it keeps going on, so I went back and actually had to read bit by book. The app kept telling me to make sure to weigh in. Hey, you haven't weighed in. What's going on? I got an email. I probably automated from my coach, the SOS email, hey, you haven't opened the app for five days or whatever, um, you need to check in. So, okay, so I caught up on the reading and I kept a few th points in mind of what I needed to keep in mind. Started talking about uh, GMOs and some other stuff. That was an interesting read. And I do, again, find it's, it influencing some of my food choices, uh, but I'm not strictly going, I need to keep on the greens. I need to keep on the greens. If I see the green vegetables there in my food, the cafeteria that I'm at, I'll, eat, I'll and it looks fine, I'll, I'll take it. I'm not going to eat lima beans, for example. I don't care how you cook them. I'm not, I'm not going to touch lima beans. But I can eat, the, 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 for example, broccoli uh, or, or some spinach that I uh, like to keep in track. I saw fish, uh, baked fish uh, at the uh, cafeteria this past week, and I ate that, and I had all green food for lunch that one day. So it is influencing me somewhat, but some of the stuff I'm not sure it's worth reading, but I'll take I'll take it the, the good with the bad. The other thing, before I went on, on, on my off the program, went away for two weeks, I believe I might have mentioned the last video, if not, that the coach said, well, what can I keep you, what goal do you have in mind, and what can I keep you, uh, hold you accountable for? And I said, eventually said, okay, I'll I'll track what I eat. I'll, 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 I'll log in all the food. She said, great, great goal. Well, I didn't. And she didn't even check. And I even asked her, do you check? Can you see my statistics, the, the, my calories that I'm consuming, the food I'm eating, my weight, all that good stuff? Because, yes, I can see that. Never held me accountable for not tracking the food that I ate over the last uh, the two weeks that I was off. So again, hey coaches, what are what value are you guys adding to this program? I really am I'm sorry you all seem like nice people, but you're not really other than saying set goals, set goals, hey, you know, great job, way to go, you're a rock star and all this kind of stuff. I it just I don't see you actually reacting to what's going on with me in the day-to-day -day or week-by-week. I see you gain some weight. Hmm, what do you think happened there? I think it's this. Again, maybe because they're not certified nutritionists, if there's such a thing, or they're trained professionals or health professionals, maybe they can't give that type of advice. And if that's so, I think you just cut the coaches out of the program. hope I don't want to get unemployed people here, but... It's just, from what I hear from other people and my experience, very little value add. I I've, I've almost could cut the chat off and continue reading and gaining stuff my own. And again, that then brings me back to the MyFitnessPal app. If the MyFitnessPal app, which I think it does have certain readings, but it's just kind of general stuff, doesn't follow a week-by-week -week program, tracks your calories, it also tracks the nutrients in there, you can see that, then... And it, and it can add these types of blurbs into the into your program as you go along. Then I think my fitness pal has has uh, noon B, for, especially on price. If you're paying you know, 100 bucks for four months on noon and, and on uh, the my fitness pal, you pay 50 bucks a year without ads, and it's free with ads. Go figure. I think they got to really. I think they really got to tighten this up and really what are set expectations. What are the coaches? 
role in this and if they're really adding value they should really be doing a some type of uh, survey on that when people quit or leave the program or from time to time that people use the program I haven't gotten any requests of feedback at all that would seem strange and here we are almost two months in the program and I would think that the new people want to say hey Tony what do you think about this <clears throat> what do you think this what's been helpful and they tweak it okay so that's that <clears throat> excuse me uh, and the other thing as I, I said and we'll, we'll go into this another time the the amount of calories that are showing on the food compared to what's on the label uh, what's in the app and what's compared on the label off one was 60 calories off that I had yesterday <clears throat> I just almost feel like I need to log this in myself it's it, it just needs to be well improved that's another pet peeve of mine that's about it for this week uh, on a side note you may notice I'm wearing glasses uh, I usually wear contacts in case you're interested people that are kind of in my age middle age I guess you can call me middle age um, um, I've had a sudden onset of floaters in my eyes I uh, went to the optometrist, he looked, no problem with my retina, anything, it's just basically aging. Apparently the liquid inside your eyeball changes uh, changes as you get older and collagen, these little collagen clumps start to uh, form in your eye. So what I uh, am doing, I'm going to go to an ophthalmologist tomorrow and, and find out. I, when I wear the contacts, it actually makes it worse, so I think it magnifies magnifies the light or something that it makes it very hard for me to see on the computer screen the glasses help somewhat uh, so I'm gonna go to an ophthalmologist uh, tomorrow that's not really the point of this 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 video but I'm thinking about maybe I should change the name on my YouTube channel of you know uh, surviving middle age because what is it it's weight loss it's a gaining weight I should say and what you're doing for your loss your eyes start to go and I'll also tell you five four or five years ago my hearing started going a little bit uh, to the point that I start, and I now have tinnitus, or some people call it tinnitus, where I, even right now I have a constant hissing sound. It sounds like glass, uh, sorry, sound dropping on glass. It's like this constant sound, sometimes a little louder, sometimes it's not. Fortunately for the tinnitus, I've grown to, uh, to ignore it, and that's because it's a constant sound. With these floaters, they're moving around the eye all the time. Every time you look right or left, they move. I don't know how anybody gets used to that. It's like looking through a dirty windshield, you know, on a car, and you just want to clean it. You know, it's just really irritating. That's a personal note, side note. If I do go to the ophthalmologist and there's some type of treatment, such as lasers or something, I will start another video uh, log, a vlog, I guess they call it, of progress on that and see how that goes. So with that, um, I have nothing else really. That was a little personal hope. Hope you didn't mind me adding that in. Some people may be going through the same type of experience. Um, but let's see what happens next week. I'm hoping I'm hitting that 252, 253 mark next week, next weekend. Let's see if that happens. Bye.